One of the types of diarrhea that we study a lot is malabsorption. So this is when uh, there is uh, compounds that are not being absorbed properly and they cause uh, increased flow. This of course is also what happens uh, with celiac disease and, and also what it is the mode of action of uh, a lot of laxatives. So normally we have the situation in which when we have, uh, uh, this is again in animal models, when we have these untreated animals, we see that uh, the mucus lining is, is thick and separates well uh, our cells in blue from our bacteria, which uh, are in red. What we were really surprised to find is that during diarrhea, this protective mucus layer was completely and almost completely depleted. What we found that this led to is the direct contact between bacteria and uh, our cells. And this is something that uh, our cells do not like very much. This leads to in not only uh, an immune response, but it also leads our, our system to try to fight bacteria that normally are, are known to be good for us. And these findings were, were, really, uh, were really important to us because they were things that we could have not uh, have understood just by sequencing. And they really gave us insight into uh, some of the ways in which uh, by, uh, uh, by changing our gut environment, we can also affect uh, our bacteria and the way we can interact with our bacteria. We, we think of diarrhea as acting acutely, and we do end up find that the environment seems to recover at the end of the treatment. And at this point, is then when we asked, does the microbiota survive this, uh, this diarrhea, or does it, uh, is it affected for the long term? What we find here is that uh, diarrhea indeed creates a disrupted environment. And what we find is that it can, this disrupted environment can be exploited by pathogens. So pathogens, of course, have, uh, uh, are trying their hardest to survive. And what they're better at than uh, our neutral or good microbes is the fact that they're really good at surviving in stress conditions. That's why it's so hard to get rid of them. Here, you're, I'm showing you a plot that uh, shows the abundance of specific bacteria. So 0.1 will be 10% uh, of the abundance of all the bacteria. And uh, this is looking at a, at a time course. These animal models had uh, six days uh, of mild diarrhea. And during the time of mild diarrhea, you can see that there's an increase in uh, this uh, type of bacteria that are called uh, the gamma proteobacteria. These uh, gamma proteobacteria are your typical E. coli or proteus, and a lot of these species uh, that tend to uh, uh, be more pathogenic. And when we find them increasing, we also find that this uh, uh, commensurate uh, reduction in other types of bacteria that, uh, uh, that tend to be the ones that uh, are potentially more protective. We also found uh, that uh, diarrhea can cause long-term changes to the microbiome. And here I'm gonna focus on the presence of uh, two really abundant uh, gut bacteria. And this is, uh, these are bacteria that come from a human microbiota. So one of the things that we can do in these animal models is uh, that we use the microbiota that come from, uh, from human patients so that we can really study how the specific human bacteria are gonna be affected by uh, these different uh, perturbations. So, in, uh, in this meeting, there's about uh, uh, 30 people that are listening to this that have uh, this family bacteria called S24-7, and everyone listening to this have uh, bacteroidesia. You can see that these are bacteria that in our control samples uh, are quite stable, and uh, they make up a, a very large fraction of this human microbiota. So S24-7 specifically starts out at almost 50% of the microbiota. And what we find is that during diarrhea, and we found this really surprising, is that this entire family of bacteria became undetectable. And you can see here how it's this appearance is overcome by an increase of the bacteroidesia. And here the bacteroidesia are taking advantage of this newly opened up niche. What was even more surprising to us is that when we took away it, the, um, uh, the agent that was causing the, the diarrhea, we found that S24-7 just never recovered. And here I'm going to stop. Uh, we would have never expected that malabsorption over six days could cause the disappearance of 50% of the microbiota. We're talking about tens of billions of bacteria. And not only is this a large number, we actually cause the extinction of an entire family of bacteria.